Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today I'm in Ormond Beach, Florida, and you can see the ocean right here behind me. We are going to be doing some work here on a crawl space, and it might surprise you that there are actually crawl spaces this close to the ocean, but these homes were built back in the 1960s, and that's a typical foundation that we'll find between the ocean and the intercoastal, which is right over here. So it's Ormond Beach, anything that has a beach is an island. And of course, it's very flooded down there. Um, they've already scheduled, so we're gonna go ahead and get that scheduled this week. We'll get some video of that for you. So as, well. as you can see, this is a flooded crawl space. We're actually just right between the Atlantic Ocean and the intercoastal. Um, it's, this island's about a mile wide, maybe three quarters of a mile wide. This home's been empty. People have just bought it, they're gonna rehab it. And of course, through the past couple hurricanes, this has flooded dramatically and they just got the power on here they just purchased the home and they're going to rehab it uh, be a great project and really they got a great buy on the home we're only a half a block from the ocean but you can see that we're pumping the water out i actually got two pumps down there and that water is moving quick but it is totally flooded underneath of there so i've got two half horsepower pumps one's discharging out to the back and it's quick but this one's pumping out I would say there's about 8,000 gallons of water in this crawl space. It's a huge home, so a lot of water has collected underneath of there. So we're going to mix up this video a little bit. Let me show you one of the things that are needed um, when you're working with sump pumps and a lot of water. I mean, we have so much groundwater here. This is what we had to do. The county actually came by and said, we want you to, to pour the curb. So let's take a look at how we do that. So we're just about through. It takes about 10 minutes or so, maybe 12, but it didn't take long. So this will be for the core. When we tunnel the sidewalk, that water will come out of here to the street. So we've got a nice two inch hole through the curb that'll take our inch and a half. Now we just need to tunnel the sidewalk. We'll probably have to shut that pump off because you can see how much water is under the walker already. But once we get that done, this will be all cleaned up and ready to go. So if you're going to buy a hammer drill, remember these are available for rental. They're, I don't know, $60, $70 for the day, whatever. And they'll give you the bid as well. Get a good one. Um, this is a Bosch hammer drill. I've had this for probably about seven years um, it's been used it's beat up but still works great this is an inch and nine sixteenths inch shank right? that refers to the bit the size of the bit that goes into the machine you really need one of these guys if you're going to do any type of concrete coring uh, bricks solid concrete such as this um, and or block so this is really just a typical crawl space um, it, you'd be surprised how many crawl spaces there actually are in Florida and even on an island like this remember this is an island Ormond Beach Beach refers to it being an island intercoastal sorry intercoastal is right over here just a couple of blocks and the Atlantic Ocean is just above those houses that you see behind me so a lot of water moving through this area and this home was vacant for many years so it went through two hurricanes without any attention and there are some structural issues down below i'm going to show you those once we get down there and how to correct that as well be sure to watch the next couple of episodes sorry we're so busy i don't really have time this week to make the videos i wanted to but wanted to post a couple things stay tuned hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.